big news for all CCADC wannabes out there. The wait is over. So let me start with a question. Do you know what the practice lab is? Practice lab is nothing else than the Cisco's drug rental offering. For years, we had practice lab for enterprise, for service provider and security, but data center, nothing until now. I'm super excited to announce that the CCA Data Center Practice Lab is finally here, and it is a beast. This is the closest you can get to the real CCA DC lab environment. Five full hours of hands-on, hardware-based, end-to-end lab time, ready for you to explore, to test, to break, to fix, just like the real deal. So now, let me show you how to grab a slot, and most importantly, what you will be getting inside. Here it is the booking page. Let me click on book a practice lab. See, we've got service provider, security, enterprise, inf infrastructure, and boom, data center. Then we need to select build your own lab. Pick your date, grab your time slot. Remember, this one is five hours instead of four which is the time slot for other architectures, as per the day I record this video, because, well, data center needs more muscles, right? It is $50 net, which is $61.50 in total. I think it's a good price for what you are getting. One important note, to book, you need to have passed any Cisco Core exam. It could be DC Core, could be N Core, or any other. You know, this keeps priority for people who are really preparing for the lab. Okay, and once you schedule, you will get an email with all the access details. You connect to VPN, follow the provided link, enter your credentials and boom, you're in. And it is worth to mention that it is the same look and feel as the real CCADC exam because the lab delivery system is actually exactly the same, all right? And here on the main screen, you will see the topology and the timer counting down your five hours. Okay, so what you got inside? There is Nexus DC1 with legacy devices where real storage is connected to and compute in the form of UCSB chassis. You can practice CLI over here. You can go with uh, building classic LAN fabric with Nexus dashboard, or you can build VXLAN EVPN site with uh, Nexus 9K in that site, anything you want. In Nexus site number two, there's even more Nexus 9Ks. So you can even go with VXLAN EVPN multi-site in that case. There are some endpoints connected here and there if you'd like to use them for traffic testing. The initial configuration for these sites include management, loon configuration on the storage with the ASXI installed on top of it, uh, fabric interconnects and 5Ks with already converted unified ports, and basic IP connectivity for Nexus 9Ks on both sides. Okay. Uh, moving down to ACI. ACI Data Center 1 is the first ACI site configured as multipod with two spines and four lead switches. Mm, there are some endpoints connected if you would like to use them for traffic testing. There is Nexus connected to it as well that you can use for, you know, layer 2 or layer 3 connectivity outside. ACI Data Center 2 is the second smaller but independent ACI fabric where you can test, for example, VMM integration with the vCenter. The initial configuration for these sites include management, uh, fabrics are already discovered, multipod is working, and basic fabric policies are applied on both sides. All right. Uh, you can also use Nexus dashboard with orchestration functionality to configure ACI multi-site. For ACI, there's another remote location that consists of one remote leaf 
where the server with an endpoint is connected to. So you can test remotely as well. Last but not least, we have also Interpod slash Interside Network that consists of two Nexus 7 case VDC that provides connectivity for multipod and multi-site deployment scenarios. All right. All of this is physical gear and the topology closely mirrors the real CCADC exam environment, though obviously it is not identical. All right, so you will start with a black canvas. Remember, no lab guide, no predefined scenarios, just raw access to build and test your own scenarios. In the exam front end, you also get some resources like device access summary, storage object details, ACA fabric bring up details and description of endpoints which are running Alma Linux with tons of additional packages and pre-installed tools useful for testing. And obviously the description of the initial config which you can modify if needed. So CCIDC candidates, it's time. First, if you made it this far, hit like and subscribe button so I know I'm not only talking to myself. Then book your rack, get your hands dirty and train for five hours on an environment that is very close to the real app. The data center game just changed and I can't wait to hear your success stories. So take care, have a lot of fun. Cheers.